Hi everyone. I just wanted to show you some simple ways that you can use Rethink uh, lessons and resources and how you can get that simply into your Google Classroom. So right now we're on the Rethink main dashboard. Uh, before we dive in and look at our lesson library and our resources and how we can get them over into our classrooms, let's just pop over to the Google Classroom and get an overview of what it will look like uh, once you can get your lessons in here. So once you're on Google Classrooms, you can just scroll over to the Classwork tab. And as you can see here, I've already set up my um, classwork with all of my Rethink lessons and materials. Um, I have broken them down by different topics and domains, and they are all listed here, neatly organized. At the top, I have some materials that will be needed. Uh, I pulled from the Rethink resources, uh, a nice little schedule packet that parents can use and that they can have access to. So if they wanted to make a schedule um, for their let's refresh. There we go. If they wanted to make a schedule for their uh, child, we would provide all these cool little icons. They can set it up for them throughout the day. We even um, supplied them with a checklist and maybe they can write what they have to do and um, check it off as they go. I also included a link that will take students uh, and or parents to the login page uh, so that they can get into the activity center um, and that parents can log in if they wish to as well. So that is all there and ready to go at the top. Uh, what my lessons look like, if you scroll down, you can kind of see the domains and then you'll see the lesson titles. If you click on any of these, uh, it's gonna open up. Um, you can put your details at the top if you're going to do a Google Hangout. You can also take the lesson plan from Rethink. And what I just did, and we'll go through this, is I copy and pasted the procedure that came with it, the lessons, the details, um, the teaching steps, how to generalize, how to do this activity uh, and exercise. And then at the bottom, I took the material that came with this lesson and I just um, added it on. I also added on that same link that we seen at the top in the lesson plan. Maybe if you want to have everything in one place, just keep popping in that link over and over. Uh, really simple. I'll go through that. Here's a sample of what the activity will look like um, on Rethink. So this activity this lesson does come with an activity uh, that students can do, and you'll actually be able to check their progress and how frequently they're doing it. So if you keep scrolling down, they kind of all look the same. Um, you'll see this one also has an activity center. Um, activity that they can do. Same thing, I took the Rethink lesson, I just copied and pasted it very simply uh, into the instruction part. And what I did was I took the material from that lesson, I added it on, um, I put in the link as well. Uh, this is a copy of the activity that comes with it so that parents can see it or students can see it. It gives a little blurb about what they would do in the activity center. And then I've also, let's pop back down. I've also went into resources, and then I just added on more um, activities that you know parents can do 
uh, with their student with their students with their children at home. So I pulled this from resources where they can make um, this cool little blending um, activity as well as another activity that I pulled from the resources and they could work on their sight words. And this is basically how to kind of create your own sand writing station. They'll have visual instructions that they can print out or leave up. And then here are some of the words that they can practice. So it comes with all the material. I felt like that would be a good um, addition to this lesson to kind of, you know, bulk up my material that I have there. And this pretty much sums up how I've been using the recent rethink lessons with my Google Classroom. So I just want to take you back onto the platform and kind of walk you through how I've been navigating and just quickly putting these lessons into the Google Classroom. So um, the first thing that I just want to show you is the resources because this is where I actually pulled that uh, sand tray activity um, and that blending activity. So you can go down to categories and then you can search um, what you need. So what we had there, what I had was those materials for um, the scheduling and I just saved them and added them on. And there's a variety of those as well. They have some worksheets you can add on as well. So if you just wanted to have, you know, this there for them, um, you would be able to. They have something for numbers. And let's say I just wanted them to have a number line or give them a sheet. Um, counting by fives, number chart. If I felt like this is something that I wanted them to have, um, I can always click on it. Save it. Number line. Then just go back over to the classroom press create. If I just wanted it to be a material that I would leave at the top, I would just put number line. Add. You're going to add a file. You're going to search on your device. Pop in that word, that keyword, and then we're just going to upload it. That's it. So now it's a part of your materials at the top. Um, you can do that with pretty much, we're gonna pop back over to Rethink. Uh, you can do that with any of the resources. So if you feel like um, you wanna share anything with your parents or even a, oh, I'm sorry. a particular student, you can. can share some of these as well. So same thing, if I opened it up, all I would have to do is just save it. Go back into my Google Classroom, attach it as a material. So this is our vowel chart. Same thing, add the file, search from our device. And just upload it. 
Okay, and now we've added some resources um, and materials to our Google Classroom that we feel like are going to help support our students. Um, now we're gonna just look at how to add that lesson plan. Let's pop these off. So we're going back on to rethink. We're gonna to go to that main dashboard. So now we're gonna go into the lesson library. You can get to the lesson library from your main dashboard or you can always just access it right here on that side toolbar. Um, we're gonna go in. You have a couple of ways that you can search. You can go by grade. You can go by lesson type. Um, you can do a keyword through the search bar. Uh, so however you feel comfortable, if you just want to scroll through, um, these little A's on the side mean there is an activity that can be will be attached to that lesson. And once you assign it, it automatically goes to that student. So if we wanted to work on some numbers, so we have our number line. We'll do identifying numbers. You would scroll over to actions. We always want to prep first. We want to see that this lesson is appropriate for our students. Um, and any of this could kind of be customized. So if you need to customize it, um, you can do so. Uh, but if I kind of scroll through and felt that this lesson is perfect for my students, what I would do is you can just highlight this. Highlight the procedure as much as you want of it. I'm just gonna copy it. I'm gonna bring it back over to my Google Classroom. Press Create. Click on Assignment. And now I'm going to make my ID number lesson. And what I will do is put the lesson in the instructions and Really quickly, I'm just going to clean up this so that it's just simpler for students and parents to kind of navigate through. And it's really simple to do for just separating them. And then we're just going to go back and pull the material. There we go. We're going to go back. We're going to check out that material. Um, if you want, you can always just save this whole entire lesson uh, right here and then add it on the same way that we did on the resources and the same way that we're going to do for the material. I just have been doing it where I'm taking the instructions and plopping it in um, to, the, to that portion of the uh, Google classroom but it doesn't matter which way you do it um, i'm going to save this this is my number number id save and then i'm just going to add that as i've been doing i'm going to add it as the file Search for it, number ID, open, upload, and there it is. Um, what I would also like to add on here is I'll probably go back up to the top on my instructions and say, uh, student activity. link below you could even say uh due date for the activity um let's say you did i don't know let's see what the date could be you can pop it over here as well that already passed the 24th Okay, and now we're just going to want to add that link. Like I said, we do have it on the main page, but if you want everything to be in one place, um, 
why not? And this time we're just gonna click the link. And what I've been doing as I have been um, adding on my lessons is I just took the link from the login page, I copied and pasted it into a Word document, and then I'm just copying it in there. Make it real simple so you're not going back and forth. So it's just the login page and then we edit. That's it. Assign. It pops up to the top. I'm just going to move it where it belongs. So we're putting it in math. And we have just added in a lesson. There we go. If you have any additional questions on how to get your lessons from Rethink into your Google Classroom, please reach out. Um, we're here to support you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.